Hi, hi. Hi, hi. It's Are you? PR time. Yes, I'm recording. I can't see the yellow frame. <laughs> That's okay. Oh my god, it's me! No! Ball oh, now I see it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Honey, honey, I did not finish. Oh, poor baby, she didn't get to finish. And let me finish instead of being all oh, poor honey. You can, you can, you can finish, baby. Um, you know why I'm sad though. Oh why? Oh look, it's veggie and veggie, <laughs> veggie, veggie, <laughs> back. <laughs> Hi veggie, veggie. How are you doing? Hi. Only doing good. I was sad because I Yay. got another. Oh, it's honey. Okay, you can press start. We can go together now. Alright, best title screen. Oh, look how <laughs> And it paused, it paused on the right frame, too. Alright, okay. so we're doing okay. a pre-trial prep. So, the main reason why I got sad, because I got this TikTok video of, you know, you know the TikTok videos of the uh, month you were born, the heart to get. Oh guess yeah, one, one of those. Guess, guess which one, who, uh, which character I got. Who did you get? The one you called an ugly bitch or something really. Uh, I forgot her name. Kyoko. I, I just call her Crescent Moon Bitch. <laughs> I mean Crescent Moon Bitch. Because her hair looks like Crescent Moons. Her name is Hyoko. Hyoko, yeah, there you go. And I don't want her. I don't even like her. I, I, I don't know. Like, I never liked her. I, I'm are sorry. There, are there, is never... there anybody that likes her? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You'll see. You'll see why people like her. But uh, I mean, I was kind of hoping she. I was kind of hoping she'd redeem herself in some way. She will redeem herself, but okay, good. I do not appreciate her hatred <laughs> towards Mikan. And Mika oh, yeah. is my favorite character. Oh, yeah, that's disrespectful. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, let's see. I have no skills. Veggie is skillless. No. Veggie it has only skill issues, it's true. At least I cleaned my pet before I started the trial. Yeah. She's gonna shit herself from here. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's gonna shit herself from uh, how badly Veggie is gonna do at this trial. <laughs> I will also do that. I might cry actually. No, don't cry, honey. You're too cute. Also, poor Monomi. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> no. That's that's how I feel beside you. Why? Because Veggie it acts <laughs> like he's so king. He's so good, perfect. See, see, on see I see. I'm 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 Monokuma. I just like sit in my chair all day. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and Bon Bon is here as a victim to no, his don't, stupidity. No, don't do that. But Veggie, Veggie, really don't do Veggie sits in, in, his, in his throne and smiles. That's that's very me. Yeah, and I'm just sad. No, I don't want Honey to be sad. Well, yeah, but I have to be beside you. That's enough. What's I wrong have with enough. being beside me? Everything. Because you're dumb. <laughs> During the class trial, I mean, you will present your did, argument. Oh, I forgot. Did even read the pre oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, and, I uh, can. We can do this. <laughs> Let's begin with a simple explanation of the trial. You present your arguments for the who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and then. That person will earn the right to leave this island. It's such a cool girl. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Uh, no. <laughs> Th that's, that's like, um, that's gonna be a very popular game in like 10 years, but don't worry about it. Most definitely. What do you mean? I well, mean 10 years. Or maybe less. I forget when this game came out. Do 2 is not the old. Wasn't this like 2014? It's like 2015 or something. Well, if so, it's only like five or six years before Mulgus was popular. Hey, it's not Isn't it the five black. years? Yeah, let's say five years. Because it was 2020, right? 
Yeah, I played in 2020. Yeah. There's no doubt that the Black End is lurking among you. <laughs> Close up. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% orange juice. So there's no need to worry. Give me orange juice. <laughs> uh, I, just want, I, I wanted to make that joke. <laughs> You're stupid. Oh, poor, Don't make that joke. Poor uh, Byakuya. He never got the stand at the stand. Very good. Maybe he would. He didn't deserve that spot. To be Ma enough. Maybe he wouldn't fit. <laughs> he wouldn't fit on the stand. Dumb, dumb. What? You're bald yourself. Speak for yourself. Mm. You barely fit on that throne. <laughs> Let's be realistic. You probably need the help to get up there. Yep. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. <laughs> you hate me that much. Also, um, one little random thing I noticed. But uh, I noticed oh. Monomi has like the little mushrooms on her head that Junko had <laughs> in uh, that's, DR1. That's a despair reaction. The despair mushrooms? <laughs> yes. Now, let's begin! You're telling us to begin? But what are we supposed to do? No complaining, let's just sell this with our fists. We're even listening to the rules? Then that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall? Huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other? This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue in our minds? I mean... If he isn't involved, then he should just say, stay quiet instead of briefing. Like, <laughs> instead of yapping. Exactly, that sounds like the most veggie thing to do. <laughs> like, uh, veggie. Oh, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna expose veggie to everyone. I say something, I ask a question, okay? And then we're like, oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> stop staying with the stupid dog. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then it's like, Veggie, stop. Veggie's just then, trying to be part of the convo. Veggie, you're not part of anything. Let's oh, be honest. Damn you're, it. You're, a, you're, you're the one trying to fit in anywhere. Mm -hmm. But like, but also earlier, like, I I just asked, say, don't ask me that because I don't know how that happened. And Veggie literally asked me right after. And I said, why are you asking me? I said, I don't know. <laughs> like, are you even like, listening to me? I'm trying. Don't know why me you're trying, and you you claim you're multitasking and you can't focus on me. That's so sad. Yeah, Veggie just falls apart. Oops. Dum dum. I love you. Why can't you focus on me? I'm sad. I'll focus on Bun Bun. Okay, then what did I say? Mm, bun Bun said that he doesn't know anything, so I shouldn't ask her. But did you do that? Yeah, oops, sorry. Honey, Bye what are you feet. gonna do for that? Ah, uh, snugglies. Snuggle. Okay, you cute, hubby. Hey. Huh? The most pressing is here are mines? When we found the body, it's a very strange place to find a body underneath a table. Then, let's start with a mystery. The reason why Byakuya's body was discovered under the dining hall table we can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that... Nah, think about if is a waste of time. We have to do this no matter what. So the class trial has finally started. From this point on, I will provide simple tutorials at every important moment. I'm sorry, but please excuse my irritating rudeness. No, no, you're good, honey. Dum dum, I am not asking you. <laughs> okay, but thank you. You're welcome. Papa. Hmm. Uh, things to progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non stop debates. During these discussions, all your classmates will speak one after the other without any break. 
go to you to review any lies or mistakes contained within your statements. This means you have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Out of all the truth bullets you find during your investigation, only the relevant ones will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left stick to move the reticle, then fire with the diamond button. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a button like that on my controller. Me too. Place close attention to each heart with statements and choose your truth ball to left to right ones. You know, the diamond button sounds like something that would be on like one of those like bootleg Google controllers or something. <laughs> oh, what even is a diamond button? I don't know. <laughs> That's why I said it sounds like a bootleg controller button. Like, like you have, uh, like the PS4, you have the X, you have the O, you have a square and a triangle. Yep. So where is that diamond? <laughs> well, exactly. It's it like it sounds like something that'd be on like a ripoff PlayStation controller. You're a ripoff PlayStation no. controller. Dumb dumb, you look like that. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. What? You, you said? Mm-hmm. Mwah. Mm. Okay, Honey is the limited edition PS5 controller. Yay! <laughs> you happy now? Mm-hmm. Because they're very uh, expensive, maybe? And valuable. But like, uh, yeah, exactly. You're very um, meaningful. Yay! See? And special. And adorbs. Yay. And unique. Best bun bun. And, my, and mine. Hee <laughs> hee. Your best too. We. Oui. Know that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail. So please be careful. If you press the start button, during the minutes you can review the controls. Right, well then, good luck and have fun. Yeah, they're usually be looking in those the controls a lot. <laughs> I can tell. Knife, yeah, gaps necessary. in floorboard, and blood stain under the carpet. <laughs> Why was Biagi's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table, at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Biagi, they probably moved the body there. Huh? Why? Obviously, by hiding the body. He tried to delay its discovery. Like a dog burning a bone. Hmm, I feel like it has to do with the blood stain. Huh? What do you say was strange? It clearly contradicts the information I know. Well, let me just go with what I think. Oh, that's not how you shoot. <laughs> Wait, how do you shoot again? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's Y. I was pressing I was pressing X to shoot, because that's how I'm used to. <laughs> but no, it's, it's stupid, it's, by it's way. Y. Yes, I know. Thank you, Wafy. Let me try this. Hey, what did you even have? I had a blood stain under the table. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, damn, this spicy music. No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Uh, why? DR only has bunkers, I <laughs> hear. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir, I'm not your sir, <laughs> you stupid. You excuse me? <laughs> no? 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 Dum -dum? <laughs> why? Repeat that. Yes, ma'am. What did you just call me? <laughs> huh? What? Oh, what's that? What, is yes oh, ma'am not good either? It is good. But okay, why good. did you call me sir? Well, I'm not, well I'm, not, I'm not calling you a sir. I'm saying yes sir, like, you know, without the space. When you say yes sir, it's like, yep, Be I agree. Veggie. What? Veggie. Honey. You only say yes sir. You know where that came from? Where? Yes sir. Well, when I say yes it sir, I, I, I mean it gender neutrally. Veggie, 
that's because you don't speak to any females. So do you? No. Expose. <laughs> exactly. That. I only speak to I only speak to a funny pastry. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Dum dum. Your what? sister isn't gender neutral. It's for men. I am not a guy. Am I? I mean, I know you're gay, of course but it's, it's not for me. Okay, um, yes, my love. Exactly, there you go. sweetie. Try to remember mm. what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Dead. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere. Um, there was no sign the killer say. actually dragged the body through it. <laughs> but why are you so slow? Jeez. So what? What? So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body? I see. I get your point. Oh, well, you know what? I just thought of, a, of an idea. Yes. Maybe the table wasn't there originally and someone planted the table there after to cover it up. The table was there the whole time, really. I mean, it is very possible it was moved at some point. Honey, how long did that block out last? Do you, do you think they literally freaking did all the effort to push a freaking table? Till <laughs> someone hide under the... No. Be I realistic. I don't know. <laughs> also, let's start with the fact that table... Actually, it was just a single lab. Oh yeah, they had to be careful with the lab because if they pushed the table, it would have fallen over, wouldn't it? Oh, that's not good. Oh yeah, exactly, that one. Oh yeah, I read that. Ugh, in here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. I, I respond better to praise, you know. <laughs> That's me. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Byaki was probably killed under that table. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown, and that's when he was killed. Then shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Uh, that does make sense, but why'd he go under the table? Maybe he's scared of uh, the dark? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Uh, maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byaki was doing during the party. Don't you think? Maybe he was, like, putting his, you know briefcase under there i don't know what do you mean briefcase or the the what? the the something something thing that he put Funny, all the weapons the in the safe was in one place it was with peko the other longest thing was in the storage room why is why are you questioning those oh. are two separate rooms so okay, the office and the storage room <laughs> the reason yeah. biaki dove under the table is connected to what biaki was doing during the party then it's probably Oh, well, I mean, this gives me a good chance to look at my, um, my, f like, files. Honey, you have, like, two minutes. Oh, shit, I, I, I have, I'm panicking. Um, it's not the AC. What does he, what does he do during the, the party was a question. What was he doing? The irons, the cloth, fire door. Murder threat? <laughs> Wait, did he, did How he, about he, the display problem? Uh, where's that? X, honey, click X. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he had, um... Wait, well, yeah, what relates to what he was doing? Because he was obviously in charge of this, I know that. Then you can try this. Maybe. There's a lot of security in a hard plastic case. I mean, that's that's definitely possible. This I don't know if that's gonna come no, up yet. No, don't, don't. That has not have anything to do no. with it. That. No. Um, not really. All the dangerous equipment could be.
potential weapon is confiscated. I mean, it's related with the deck case. I mean, let's see if, um, let's just get this out of the way and see if any it pulls up anything. Um, this may sound presumptuous, but I think that's wrong. <laughs> His face. What? what? <laughs> Everyone's staring. Looks like I made a fool of myself. That's, kind of, that's actually funnier than uh, Makoto's face. Yeah. Um, well, it's not the Monokuma file. The knife? No. Um, how does that answer the question what he was doing? Well, he was trying to confiscate the weapon. <laughs> okay, you can try to. Sure. Oh, that was it. That. Probably has something to do Good with the job. knife we found on the table. Thank you, honey. Good job. Veggie acting like a genius, even though it was kind of obvious. <laughs> even though I messed up. Veggie <laughs> messed up. That's what. Why are you always so dumb, so. Jeez, dumb, dumb. I'm gonna take five hours for Honey to finally get this. I hope not. Yes, it will, but you have me, so it will take three hours. Better? Thank goodness, it won't take five. <laughs> it will take five. <laughs> What do you mean, thank goodness you complain you're spending time with me? That's oh so no, I, lo I love spending time with you, baby. Then why are you complaining you use five hours? But if I take too long, then Honey's gonna pass out and then I'm gonna be lonely. Then wake me up. Okay. <laughs> but you just <laughs> did okay. I will I will be a menace to Bon Bon and wake her up any second. <laughs> Dumb dog, why are you giggling? That's kind of creepy. No, I'm sorry. No, I love you. It's okay. I love you too. Nice! Oh, you mean that thing that was obviously screams? I am the murder weapon! Byakia probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew it beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? And instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment? Like, for example, you might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from, out from the other the table. No, that's not possible. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course, I have proof to back me up. Hmm, <laughs> this is almost like a real trial. During the previous statement, there was only a one weak spot. But from this point on, there will be various weak spots standing in your way. Oh yeah, like the golden text. Yeah. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will be only one light or a contradiction in the, the date of the time. <laughs> to be honest, I only I didn't even notice there was only one. I'm so used to there being like three. <laughs> so this whole time dum dum was just wasting time. Over one one line. That's ridiculous. Well, because I was trying to figure out which button shoots. Veggie, come on. This means there will be a false weak point, but if you shoot a false weak spot with a true bullet, not only will you fail to refute what was said, but you also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gosh will take damage. If your influence gauge should reach zero, you will fail, so please be extra careful. You have to rely on your own logic, which Veggie doesn't have by the way, <laughs> to determine which weak spots are usually lies, actually lies or mistakes. Also, if you concentrate by holding down the RB button, I don't know what the hell RB button is. <laughs> right bumper. <laughs> really? Mm hmm. You can progress the argument slowly. Please use it whenever you feel like the statements are moving too fast for you to aim. 
However, this does consume the focus bar, so please be careful. If you press the start button during these arguments, you can review the controls, which bet you always clicks. <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun! Yeah, somehow I always manage to hit the start button. Yeah, because Veggie loves his settings. That's a lot of things. Yep. They went rough on you. <laughs> First, I'm sure we have kept that on your table. You're in a blackout. That sounds correct. If that's the case... During the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands who also be seen a killer then take the knife, but it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my foot. Yeah, okay, I couldn't see in the dark either. I thought he could have seen a killer. It's true, getting him that obvious. table during the blackout would have been nearly impossible, but... Yeah, let me, just, let me just double check. I mean, it doesn't say it, it doesn't say it doesn't say who was in possession of them, but I think it's safe to say he had them. <laughs> Reggie, think logically. It was literally beside him. It's beside his head. All right, that, that should clear it up then. Yo! Counter. Break. No, Bjarke was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. You want a sip? A uh, sip? It's mango. Mm. I'll be the judge of how I feel about the taste. <laughs> you, you like mango? Mm, I mean, maybe I do now. I didn't like the taste as a kid, though. Honestly, same. You know that? Mm. <laughs> Something when I, in common. When I... Veggie, I hate that we have so much things in common. <laughs> I don't like that. I want I want to be different from you, and that's me relating to you because I don't want that. Well, I mean, you can already relate differently because I like orange juice so much. Ew. Uh, Ew. Honey, honey, you say, <laughs> honey, you say you don't want things in common, and now you're saying you make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> You like fruit punch? No. I I'm embarrassed now. Oh, what a what, what a what a red little hun. Stop! I'm not red. It's pitch black. Okay. You have night vision actually, goggles. <laughs> yes, but I got night vision goggles. Very good. I key. actually have I have my Hello Kitty eye mask. Does hey. that work? Yes, that counts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna kill you. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Me. Okay. <laughs> Honey's killing me with her love again. No, I'm gonna cuddle you and yeah, you cuddle me. Um, Guys, um, uh, keep you safe. How's that sound? Sounds great, especially because uh, Wait. everybody, season ten of Hello Kitty is out. Yay! I'm so happy. It was a <laughs> Very good at this one. Mm -hmm. They just put bows oh, yeah. on everything. I'm gonna do that in your room too. Mm, I like that. I like bows. Me too. But sadly, oh, I don't hun. have any. I need, then I'm gonna buy you some. Mm, yes, then, please. Then I'm gonna buy you. Oh, you can keep them. Now, my question is should I put them in my hair or should I wear them on my uh, outfits? Both. Okay, I can do that. Cute. Hey, hon. Oh, what's up? I started liking mango because they start making mango parfaits very often. Mm. You know what that is? Mm, sounds yummy. You know what that is? Isn't a parfait like a fruit smoothie kind of thing? Kind of, but it's like yogurt with like. Uh, I like yogurt. How do you, with kind of like a. Uh, Mostly oatmeal, like you know. Oh yeah, I love oatmeal. And, yeah. You know and what? I was usually... I was actually um. Oh yeah, did I tell you that I bought yogurt the other day? What kind? Um, banana. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> not 
<laughs> banana Greek <laughs> yogurt. Yes, it was that. It was it was that kind again. And I was thinking, what if, what if, what if I what if I dipped my oatmeal cookies in the yogurt? Then it'll be kind of then it kind of yes. like be having like having a little parfait. Yeah. Then well, do and, it. well, and plus chocolate chips and bananas go well together too. So it's honestly just a really yes, good combination. Stop saying banana wrong. Banana. It's banana, not. Why you say it wrong all the time? Because that's just how I've always said it. But fine, I'll say banana veggie, for you. Veggie, veggie, you said banana wrong your banana. whole life, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have. Yes. That's not funny, that's embarrassing. Well, sorry, pumpkin. It's okay, I love you. I love you too. But they they added this mango, like, syrup smoothie because it mixed mm. up the mango. And it was like this liquid and they poured it all over the parfait. And I often made it, and I, you know, I uh, feel bad. I am a guilty one. Oh, poor so Why are you guilty? Because I was, I didn't like mango, but the more I ate it, the more I liked it. And oh. then, maybe I should ask them. We haven't had that in a while. It was, it was yummy. Good idea. Yeah, sounds good to me, baby. Okay, remind me then. <laughs> okay. Why do you say that? If he was using those night vision goggles we found on the table, he could have seen what was happening. So, are you saying Yakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. <laughs> Objection! Wait right there! No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Other way around? Seriously, the Kirillo used those night vision goggles, not Byakuya. See, that's what I thought. <laughs> no, Byakuya used it. <laughs> Are you surprised by Mahiru's sudden argument? Uh, not really. She likes to argue a lot anyway. True, especially uh, against men. I thought it was she's, more funny than anything. What? I thought it was more funny than anything. <laughs> I mean, funny than anything. She's clearly sexist. <laughs> but I like her. I like her. She is classy. She's yeah, not that I, sexist. I like her too. She's, she's just like, she got priorities right, and I wanna be like her. She's a girl's girl. Screw all Yay. men. Yeah. But uh, I'm mainly a girl's girl type, but I support Becky and Yay. all the guys. So, mm. it's be between you and me. I was also surprised, which I'm not. Because I already played that game. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sorry. Told you. Told you, Veggie. See, to oh, you kidding. told me. I'm sorry. Now then, when this kind of argument surfaces, you will go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called Red Blue Tail Showdown. In this mode, you have to counter the other person's playing, draw out their weak points, and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remarks with their left stick. Based on the shape of the remarks, it's important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. What is a hack and slash? Kind of. Amazing on that you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it will skew toward your advantage. In the bottom right hand corner of your screen, a number that shows the sharpness of your computer is displayed. This is the number of times you can cause remarks during one round of the debate. So this is just a new gameplay mechanic then. Obviously every new every game has a different mini game basically. Like in one you had Hangman and what else? And that, you know, rhythm beat game that Veggie sucked at very much. Oh fun. So the trials in this game are gonna have like a different feel to them. Yes. 
It's always like that because, again, it's a different game. Why would it be? Oh, I'm glad they're not repeating anything because that would be kind of mid. I mean, Danganronpa is a series that's very unique. Like, you cannot really compare each other by mm. as much. I mean, obviously, the child news is stay the same in some way, but, you know. Would it be Danganronpa without cows? <laughs> yep. And this. <laughs> You'll lose tons of sharpness even if you miss, so please be very careful. And it needs to be zero. Don't be for seven line and find the other party's argument changes. This means the conversation will develop. If that happens, it will end up di divulging some weak spots. However, you cannot normally call remarks that contain weak spots. Instead, it will skew the mood towards the other party's color, plus it's gonna be very big. It's like a regular debate, please refute and weak spot with the diamond button. I don't know what the button that is. Y or X? Y. I'm gonna assume it's Y. Of course, if you don't have this correct tooth plate, you will not be able to cut on the phone's remark. Huh? It's a tooth plate. I'm really sorry, please there has been a delay in contacting you. I'll make sure the person in charge of contacting you takes a very long vacation. In this mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades. Um, that's about it. There won't be any other changes to your handbook menu. Only the name was changed, but don't you think a change in feeling is important? If you press the start button during these agreements, yeah, we can review the controls. Well then, we'll all gonna have fun! Well, I'm not sure what to expect from this, but we'll see. Okay. So, let's see. If you could just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That gotta be it. Oh, I got a mash now? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit more and I could draw something out next time. Oh. Where's your foot proof that the killer used them? Ooh, you're right there. Am I doing this right? <laughs> I found a hole in your argument. I'm sure Byakuya brought the night vision goggles. I need to refute Mihiro's claim with evidence. You need to change the, you know, um, truth plate. Truth plate. Uh, that's what the L1. Damn it, I was overcome. She's gonna go back to the original topic. I don't know what I'm doing. But you need when you see the golden, you need to like shoot like why? Golden? Okay. See? Ah, there we go. You're welcome. I kind of just, you know, fumbled through that. Though, all right. <laughs> No, Byaki was definitely the I one hope. who brought those night I vision hope. goggles. Yes, Hani's very helpful. Hani, Hani, mm -hmm. where, where is the, where is the price for helping? Pat, pat, good hun. Hmm. De definitely, but why? Inside the Duralumen case Byaki had with him during the party, we found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside the dual, dual element case as well. Wahoo! I said, assume. People could never use such clever language. <laughs> Plus, Byaki was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you call it like that, it makes sense. 
Then, was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. Ew! <laughs> That's my reaction, I was gonna say, ew! Thank you, Kyoko. At least we're on the same page here. And tonight, or I'm now. You can tell I mean that in a perverted way. The knife was brought in the Duralumin case along with the night vision goggles too? No, that's not possible. The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. I should be able to prove it. Um... A nice main dish? Yeah, I mean, I definitely... Wait, no. What about the duct tape? Because didn't the duct tape have, like, that paint on it? Let me try this. Hmm... There was duct wait, tape wait, left yeah. under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape? They probably hid the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Though Bianchi was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of a table. This may be off topic, but why was Bianchi acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case, too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? You think so too, right Hajime? That's right. Byakuya probably knew there was a possibility that a murder could occur. Um... What do I present here? Uh... The equipment list, maybe? Maybe. I'm talking about the reason Bianca knew a murder was gonna happen. Oh, fuck. Okay, so it's not that. <laughs> well, the reason see. why he knew. The reason why he knew. When he knew that the duct tape was there under the table. Hmm. Or oh, well, no, this at least. I'm not sure. Is it the murder? Wasn't there some? But did he? Oh did, yeah, that. Did he, well, that. he got he got the murder threat. I'm assuming, right? Yeah, that. So he knew about that then. Oh well, yeah. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Wait, wait, wait! He brought the paper with to, to <laughs> he, the trial. He brought the paper. I thought he, he left it in his room, but okay. Okay, so he definitely did see it before the party started then, so that's why Wait, he was careful. so careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. You're welcome for the creepy voice. Hey, the hell is that? Honey, honey, oh, what do you think of the creepy voice? Oh, very creepy, hon. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Are you scared? Ooh, I'm so scared, honey. <laughs> honey, are you scared? Mm -hmm, I'm very scared. But you, why did you go then? Because you're cute. Dumb, dumb, stop stuttering. Why you flustered? I thought you were scared. Um, well, maybe I can get flustered when um, I'm scared. Who knows? Honey. Oh, what? Honey. Mm -hmm. Hope. Mm -hmm. Honey. Maple. Are you scared, though? Why no. are you calling me Maple? Why are you calling me Maple? Why are you calling me Maple? Well, because you call me Honey, so I'm calling you Maple. <laughs> Actually, that's a very much a compliment. You know how much I like Maple? <laughs> I know, you're very good. Hey, why didn't you never call me that? Because mm, I just thought of it right now. Oh, uh, well, please keep <laughs> doing that. Okay, Muffin. I like your names. Yay. Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent to him. So, 
Who's the someone? Nobody beats I not go with by such a dumb threat to the like that. Was it me? Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies. Those are still lies. <laughs> what about white lies? White lies are basically friendly lies. Dum dum. Oh, okay. Dum dum. How, uh, how slow. I didn't know that. Let me see. Honey, please. What? Why are you so slow? Uh, I don't know. Dum dum. Oh, Robbie. Rob, bro. You okay? Yeah, me you good. You okay? Yeah, me good. It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, yeah, I yeah, became paranoid because of this threatening letter. Yep. He probably I mean, decided to throw a party because of this letter. I mean, logically speaking, who wouldn't be terrified? Yeah. What do you mean? By gathering everyone around in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. Wait, I have a question. Oh, uh, why not? So that, that they assume that he got the letter before he created up that plan. Mm, I guess. Like who who said who said that he got the letter before he announced that he's gonna host a party? I mean, we don't know when the letter was written, so that's something maybe we have to figure out. I don't think we will figure it out, but I'm still curious why they assumed so quickly. But the letter might have just been a little prank, bro. As long as he was determined to not let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe that letter was legit. Uh, he should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, well, no, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole reason he threw the party. Exactly. So, he tried to do something about it. I see. His strong sense of responsibility is our leader was his undoing. <laughs> Screw that noise! What the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously the killer. The killer. The killer. We gotta do. I gotta do a pan. Honey. Gotta do a pan around real quick. Is it okay, really we'll... one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Byakuya? <laughs> Sorry, I can't take it seriously. Edgy, they, they actually say so much things that people use nowadays, it's funny. Enough already. Like Show the, yourself, you coward. Like, Hifumi said he's the Alpha and Omega. <laughs> when people say, literally talk about Alphas and Omegas and whatever. It's just funny. Yeah, that, that's that. I'm never gonna take that seriously either. Good job. If they were willing to come forward, they never would have come and murdered in the first place. She's doing her duck face again. But I yeah. still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe Betty, that yet. What goofy tone was that? Someone in this <laughs> I'm just gonna give him like the stupidest tone ever because that's the vibes I get from him. Because you're also stupid, because you also sound like that. Well, don't thank talk. you, love. You know that's your that's your normal tone? So you called yourself stupid? Good job, Becky. I, 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 I guess I'm stupid. You are stupid. That's true. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this story, but I just realized something concerning the night vision and goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? Ah, oh, that's a good question. You're right, they I wouldn't know. have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Yeah, if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. 
No, the killer definitely used a mark. And because of this mark, the killer was able to get to the knife. Look, glowing the paint. Yeah, glowing paint. I was about to mention that. Look, the duct tape was covered in glowing paint. So when he yeah. put on the, the night vision goggles, you know how night vision goggles work, right? They mm. make like stuff way more higher and like saturated, like the colors. So it's like high contrast, so, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, so like the colors, for example, the freaking glowing paint would be shining. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found on the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean they could have painted them in advance? But painting them with the glowing paint? It's as if they knew the black was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. So then maybe the killer is also responsible for the blackout. Veggie, that's obvious. <laughs> Haven't we already depicted that why the blackout happened, or did you not get that? Mm, I mean, it makes sense. Well, you want me to explain? <laughs> no, 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 I'm good. I can't explain because Veggie doesn't get this. No, 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 I want to figure it out. Honey? Oh. Honey? Honey? Ah. Honey? Maple? <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute, I love it. <laughs> and you're happy over that, so that's e. Okay, sweetie, you want me to explain to you as your lovely, you know, assistant? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Sweetie, remember uh, what we found in the storage room? Um, oh yeah, the irons. The irons were turned on, okay. And they were, Do you remember like, they, basically they were, like, you know, overworking the irons to cause the blackout. Well, yeah, because I explained it to you as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know how that works, right? Mm, the, the, they're basically the, overloading the circuit boards. Yes, that's what I said. I know what I said, dum dum. Now I remember. But... What else? What about the AC? They uh, all had the same time. Yeah. And temperature was kind of off and blah blah blah. So also AC was involved. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? I, th I think that's, that's those two things that caused the overload maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which means whoever set out the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means oh, it was you, Peko Peko Yama. It was Peko Peko for Biafia? Was this alley not big enough for two glasses worms? I am not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her so easily? But with the excess height, I don't think she'll be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I don't care about technicality like that. Peko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Peko is the one who caused the blackout? Is that really what happened? After this debate, blue colored weak spots will start appearing. If we call the the weak spots you've seen up until now argue spots, the blue color weak spots will be called agree spots. When shooting agree spots with true balls, you need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes, please fire the true bullet that proves the other person's testimony is correct. When your true bullets merge with their weaknesses, it will become a logically sound agreement. Isn't it a little hot in here? 
from now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. If you rest a side button during these arguments, you can review the controls, which way you will play probably. Well then, good luck and have fun! Ooh, and this banger. Yep, I love it. Well, we're gonna have to go through all of the accounts. Well, you can do it now. Well, let's see. Territorials, Chiaki, and... Uh, uh, the, bath the bathroom was being used the whole time. Uh, Kaz headed for the office. He didn't see anyone there. Chiaki was standing guard. Fuihiko came to the old building and walked away. I'll have a look at this a few times. Since Pig was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. Well, I definitely don't agree with that. <laughs> That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Oh yeah, let me look at Terra Terra's account. Yeah, I said Terra Terra, Chiaki, and I forgot the uh, other. The gas stove in the kitchen is powered by electricity. That's why Terra Terra couldn't use it during the blackout. Mm. Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. Ugh, my text is spinning. What happened to the, your guard? Sorry. No, he said, what, what happened to guard duty? Oh. oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly this, a desperate excuse. You know what? Uh, who said it? Kazuichi? Yeah, Kaz said, said that. that. He, he, he didn't see her. His, his account isn't on here, though. That's weird. Wait, Nekumaru? Kaz is the only one's account who isn't on here. So it's Nekumaru, Chiaki, and Terra. Oh! Wait, ne it's Nekumaru. Because remember how Peko had to run away to the cottage or something because, you know, uh, she felt sick? Oh. Let's see. Uh, at least that's what I think. They trying. So maybe it's that one? I don't know. There's no, there's no other oh, yeah, there's so no other state. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try shooting Nekomaru at her statement before the black house. Yeah, let me try that. I mean that's what I think. Don't be mad if it doesn't work. Yay! You were right, I honey. <laughs> no, I think Peiko's telling the truth. Haha, <laughs> don't tell me you're crushing on Peiko. It's nothing like that at all. Nakamaru's account is actually Peiko's alibi. Reggie, who are you crushing on? Ah, uh, Bun Bun. Really? Yeah. Okay, when you gonna come out, huh? I mean, it's not crush phase, because I love Bun Bun. I love you, Dumbi. The door won't open, hey. yeah. <laughs> Reggie, did you even read that? You did not read that. <laughs> well, I can, I can, I, I can read it. <laughs> yeah, the, the he already said the door won't open. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time, shortly after the party started. It was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. <laughs> and that person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually. Everyone else besides Peiko was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked herself in the bathroom except Peiko. <laughs> you're, you're telling me her b alibi was her using the shitter the whole time? I mean shitter. Stop saying that. Why, why do you say that? Because it's funny? <laughs> it's not funny. Stop. Okay. I do. Stop. Mama. That's not funny. Honey. You're funny. I'm not. What do you mean you're not? Being, stop being gross. It's not funny. Okay? Okay. Are you gonna be nice? Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, me good. Thank you, hon. You're the best. Yay. Oh, but you did not say I'm the best too. Wow, so mean. Honey, best too. Okay. <laughs> 
I guess that should be true. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier. There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. If you locked yourself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she would admit she was taking a shit. Hey, why did you guys talk to me by seeing manners? Why are you racing a locker room? Ugh, I I'm sorry. You. I agree with my <laughs> Because that's just gross. It, it's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry, the smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. I said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? Yes, yeah, exactly what happened. <laughs> As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt a sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the back door was locked. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? Seriously, stop up. it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, you little pig. But still, your stomach pain, was that really just a coincidence? Honey. What? Is, was, I'm sorry if I crossed the line with that thing I just said. Oh, wait, what, honey, say? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, you little pig. I mean, that's fine. Really? That's fine? Mm hmm. How? I mean, he deserves it anyway. <laughs> he is a pig, though. I'm sorry. He just. He is incredibly short, he has a weird nose and that weird look, and he probably stinks from a mile away. So. <laughs> That's about could. right. Yeah, so a pig, told you. <laughs> hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking answer all out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped through some laxatives? L laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I mean, he has a point. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, because why is she the only one being affected? Specifically, Peko. I mean, think logically. If if uh, it was known, I already knew something was suspicious. Because why would Biakia insist on giving girls? Like that's obvious. Like if if he gave away that Peko will stand by the freaking you know uh, vault with all the stuff, then obviously they will go for her. So they would have to figure out a way to, you know, poison her. So she will run away. So... Don't you think? So basically she kind of became a target. Obviously. I mean, they obviously they didn't want to kill her, I think. Because they probably thought, oh, she's too strong for them. So they just wanted to take her out some way. So, you know, no need of distraction. And then... Kill yeah. their main opponent, which was Piakpia. I mean, if he dis if he got the threatening letter and he only he would know, then I think he it was obvious that he was the victim all along. Because why would he only know the one who's the most standout put up leader is obsessed with protecting people. <laughs> Yeah, so basically in this whole situation, Pekka was like like a shield to uh, Byakuya, so they had to get rid of that shield first by, you know, distracting her. Yeah, I mean, let, let's say how Byakuya was just really vulnerable mm -hmm. because of that letter. Yeah. It's just, it's just ironic how a stupid piece of paper did so much to his mindset. Yeah. 
It's messed up. I see. That might have happened. Well, give me one second, honey. Why? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I'm back. 15 seconds. 40 seconds too long. Honey, that was not one second. That was way too long. <laughs> Sorry. I would have let it slide if it was 5 seconds, but it was 15. Hello? Hello? Veggie? Oh, honey. Veggie? What? Explain. Um, Explain. I needed to um get some cold air and be comfy. What do you mean cold air? Are you dumb? Oh, it's a bit warm in here and I feel a little uncomfy. Oh, you want to cuddle and you better be comfy? Well, I thought yeah. we were cuddling and I thought you were comfy with me. Oh, your cuddlies. Name. Well, I'm comfy Cuddles. now. Well, you weren't comfy this whole time with me. You're so mean, baby. No, I just started feeling uncomfy, so I uh, wanted to get a little comfier. Okay, sweetheart, I understand. I'm cute with you. Yeah, glad you are. The question is whether Pecos stomachache was actually a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. I don't think it's a coincidence. Knife AC party dishes. That's probably that's probably what it has to do with. Did you eat something weird? I don't remember everything, I mean, weird. No, that you mention it. You brought food to the office, right? Just a bit, little bit from the dining hall. Might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Very Terry cooked the food. How suspicious. I wouldn't do anything like that. Laxatives would ruin the taste. Whether Pecos stomach egg was a coincidence or someone intentionally caused it. We need to clarify that first. Well, what is the info on the party dishes anyway? Party dishes is that he cooked, the territory cooked it. Poured his heart and soul into cooking various dishes. However, oh yeah, see? Akane Peko. and Peko are the only ones who ate them. Yeah, you need to do that. So... Let me see. I'm not sure which statement, but I, I know it has to do with the party dishes. But he cooked them, so... Let me see. That is, no, not, huh? that is not it. Okay, I'm gonna try it on the other statement then. It's coming up in a second. There we go. Oh, there we go. I mean, you could easily slip it into the food. <laughs> No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall, because Peka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Oh, me. So yeah, they were like. I'm guessing it was done like after she left or something then. Yeah, what? What? After she left. Well, because, you know, she brought food with her, so yeah, it would have been more obvious on the fact that that, that dish was hers, so they could have tampered with it, maybe. Yeah, that's what I think. Like I said, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. For you, he should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative taxation. I thought laxatives were supposed to help you with using the bathroom, not make it worse. What the fuck did you say, bitch? See, is this bickering? Let's just dismiss Peckle's stomach ache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah, we, we already know that, you trashy shank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make it clear 
how that blackout occurred. Oh, we already know, but we gotta figure out how to, you know, prove it. Mmm. <laughs> irons. I irons, irons in the storage room, yeah. Did you make it any more obvious, yeah. game? <laughs> Who tripped the breaker? How did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they use a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. Yep. On you. Oh. What? Did I mess? Did I mess up? <laughs> Veggie, it says agree, not counter. Well, I was trying to agree. Why are you agreeing with Iris in the storage room to something unrelated? Maybe there's another statement. Messed up with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. Oh. We may have maybe to this? know with this power supply and test transmitters. Oh. Oops. I mean, I, ha I have the right idea, I just think I'm doing it on the wrong statement. <laughs> yes, you are. You're doing too fast. Okay. This or one? maybe they cause a power of streak? There we go. <laughs> That's what I meant to yeah, do. Yay, my was my own. Yay! It's just as Mihira said, the blackout was caused by a power surge. I just didn't know what the right words were. <laughs> oh, dumb, dumb. Tamper with the power break. Here, definitely not. Well, I mean, the break, the break, the breaker would get fucked up from getting overloaded, though. Well, yeah, but because it automatically turns off. But I said that in the last episode. Why did you not listen? Mm. You know how I get it now. It, it, I mean, you know, it closes the whole like, how do I call it? Cords, uh, uh, like. Pain reaction, yeah. Ugh. So, it, well, to prevent it from electrical fire, which is very dangerous, by the way. Yeah, it makes sense. There is this thing that just closes the whole circuit of electricity, which is the breaker for. You do not tamper with it. If it it's like everything has no limit, like the house. Yeah. If you have like, like I said, washing machine, microwave, stove. The freaking vacuum cleaner turned on at all at once, it may overload and the, you know, the power will just shut down. And that's it. Mm hmm, makes sense. That's how, that's how it works. But dumb, dumb thing, you need to physically turn off or something. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Oops, okay. Of course, Maybe. that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Please buy those three irons for a range to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving the virus on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Ah, <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> Yep, but those are so funny. Those <laughs> funny boy jump scares me so bad sometimes. Hold on also, a second, let me speak purple? too. Funny purple background. Purple background? First we had black background, white background, and now purple background. What the Jesus. hell? You say the iron. Uh, what the heck? You, you say what the heck? You say the irons in the storage room are used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable. All right, time to, reaction for you. time to play uh, hack and slash again. Uh, why? <laughs> oh, they're they're horizontal now. <laughs> I see. Well, I just have to make sure I pick the right thing. That's all. Hey. I'm never ready for Funny. that. <laughs> Also, does it matter like which one I have selected? No. The the main question appears on these two things. Okay. Advance. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they are not a suspect. Oh, I guess Honey is me now. Okay. Big up Veggie can <laughs> Slash slash. But you did not read what he said. Well, it's sideways. How can I read it? 
I can't reply to waste. It's true, the I'm irons were responsible for the blackout, but that shouldn't be the only reason. The AC timer, maybe? What's else? Maybe. Veggie, you missed a golden text. You know you need to break through it. Okay. I'll try the AC then. Sure. Oh. You, you missed it again. You know how to do it? I think I gotta shoot at it, right? Yeah. Okay. Oops. Here. <laughs> I did it too fast again. Peggy, stop. It's not funny. That's Why do you keep I, messing it up? I know it's not funny. I'm not trying to be funny. You're unfunny, actually, all the time. Cut. You're welcome. I said it. Hooray! I know. Again. Where's my prize? Oh, Pat Pat. Good BB. Look at him. Look at him point. Honey, <laughs> do... Honey, give me something better. You robbed me last time. Aw, uh, blah, blah. Mama. <laughs> the irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but there weren't the they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall in the office clicked on. Air conditioners. The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11:30 p.m. 11:30 p.m. Mister Ham has done it around that time too. I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see. I understand. Indubitably. Indubitably? They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance, and used the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the AC's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. So, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout. Indubitably. Oh my gosh, she's doing the funny up yours gesture. Yes, I like the gesture <laughs> on her. Yay. Indubitably. Miss Sonia, not you too. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Oh look, I'm looking at Nekuma or something. Yay, honey's so cute. Dun dun dun! Edgy, why you freak out? Edgy, why you freak out so much? Because you cute. Oh, no. On me. What? I'm on your side. Oh, I'm glad down. you are. Yes, we have to be on your side because Betty is so damn slow. I'm gonna say everything for yeah, dumb Bun Bun's so helpful. I know. I'm I'm waiting for my payment still. Pat Pat, good wifey. Hmm. Honey, you need to pay me back some Beanies, <laughs> cookies. Oh no. Is she right? Such a hateful bear. I deserve to die a thousand deaths. A thousand, you say? If I die that many times, I must really stay dead, you know? Shut up. You guys should stay quiet. I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. But even so, I feel regret. If I was in the office and I could have reset the breaker in time, maybe a murder wouldn't happen. However, curry I meant. No, the breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the clear is so slight. Starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's alright, you don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Huh? There's no way everybody would lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. Hey, he's doing the funny iconic pose that I've seen everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Nagito, what happened to you? Huh? What, what do you mean? What happened to you? <laughs> he's just he's being true. He's being You're funny. Right. You've been saying this whole time. There's no but way a killer could helpful. be among us. Yeah. Is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside from now and talk about the incident. For now, we find out who the bla how the blackout occurred, but the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. 
isn't the iconic pose? <laughs> doesn't know that he has. Honey, so, I that's mean, iconic pose. I mean, he has so many iconic poses, honestly. Honey, he's iconic. Why are you surprised? Yeah, he, he's just. What, the, he, why else is he a fun you favorite? Know, you, you know, you open up a dictionary and you try to look for the word iconic. It's just a picture of of Kameda in there. <laughs> exactly. I love Nagito. He's so ah, uh, I love him. Yeah. Setting up in the irons in the Reggie. storage room could have done been done before Byakya set foot in the old building. Oh, what's up, pumpkin? Well, I mean, it, I also like him, but you, need, you can tell why. Or you need to meet him more why. He's just special. Well, yeah, because I, 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 I've only spent a chapter with him, so... Yeah, I can't say for sure uh, yet. Exactly. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? <laughs> he is just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately, it's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. Changing the story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we should all do at this point. <laughs> Just give up, bro. Nah. Yeah. Has, I, has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up on die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> hey man, that's rude. No, <laughs> you guys could definitely think there's something wrong with me only because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this? There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have time to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I don't want to do this either. Me too, please. Take me home already. Well, I'm gonna go home on the candy. Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I'm gonna... Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. So there. he's the perfect... See? He's like hope and despair in mixing one. Wow. Like he just he just like switches like like with the thumb of like tick. And there are no clues now. that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. Oh my god, honey holds her hand out. I think <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> me me in an <laughs> argument. And then he just Look. he just pauses and does the pose. That's me actually. Did you say something? Like, like, like one ball. I wanna say something. I was like, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Aw, oh, such a honey moment. See, I even say cause. <laughs> <laughs> That's so me. Aw, oh, I, I love honey. Pidgey, why, Pidgey, why you freak out so much? Because I love you. I love you too. Because we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. A clue, you say? You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person, I think. <laughs> I think. I see. Yeah, that's me. You care to tell me? What's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife in the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean, before that. Before? Which, by the way, by accident, I blame that. Oh my goodness, it's I... the it's the men's bathroom guy. Honey, honey. What? I actually, I by accident did spoil on what? something. What did honey do? Let me remind you. Remember the one question asking where did, where they hid the knife or something, or mm -hmm. how they they hid the knife? What were they asking? 
Uh, what did I say? Uh, I bet he doesn't remember. You said duct tape, I said something else. Oh yeah, the duct tape. Yeah, what about, what, this, what was the other option? Um, I'm not sure. Well, I said the other option. What was the other option? Should I s just tell you or you should guess? I think it's better if you guess. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to guess. <laughs> okay, logically speaking, it's related with the tables too. Is it the cloth? No, on top of the table. The plates? Well, sir. The the knife? Veggie, we talking about the knife? We the knife on the blood. Veggie, <laughs> what? Listen, what was above? What was on the table? Food. Yeah. Was, food was it in the food. That's that. That's what I said. The oh. main dish. That was the other option, oh. which is what we're talking about now. Is she asking because, how I the mean, killer got close to that table? Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint, in order to do that, they need to get close to that table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. Mahiro's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Just as I thought, this diagram is the clue. Who the killer is, and how they were able to move the table in the dark. That's clearly shown in this diagram. First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Well, I mean, it's either the it's either the glowing tape or it's the night vision goggles. Or lamp. Or the lamp. But was the lamp on in the dark though? <laughs> the cable. The cable. What about it? I don't know, think. You can do dog tape if you want, first. I'm gonna try the goggles. Why the goggles? Byakuya had the goggles. Oh, okay. Byakuya was stupid. using the night vision goggles, right? Then there's no way the killer could have used them. <laughs> Burp. Veggie, right. are you stupid? Alright, the tape then. Seriously? But the duct tape was stuck under the table, right? But you're saying the killer used it to move in the dark? That doesn't make any sense. Veggie, what uh, about the lamp? Okay, the lamp then. Told you. You shouldn't listen to me. The killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp? Hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There was no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Of course, there's no way they used the desk lamp light. The killer actually used... Power cord. The power cord. Well, why else, genius? They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? Oh, uh, that's what we're going with? Okay. Oh, dum dum. That's what I said. They couldn't see the freaking paint glowing on their... You know, paint, you know, a cloth. So they had to rely on the power cord because they know that there was the only table there was no food on. Isn't that suspicious already? Hmm, okay, that makes a bit more sense. Like they already, they already knew where the freaking night was because it was the only table that wasn't mysteriously put food on. It was the furthest table, too. It was also the only table that and had a lamp, it looked like. Well, that was, like, how to say, an alternative, like, option, in case he, the, I mean, he, she, who cares, person, culprit, blah, blah, was, you know, uh, lost. So they could, like, oh, you know, 
it had a lamp power cord and they already knew where the power cord was so they just followed it mm -hmm. by doing that the killer was able to move to the table then use the glowing paint to find the knife There is only one person here who could have done that. Uh who? The only person who could have possibly done it. Uh, who was beside the power cord? Who was beside the power cord? Yep. I don't know. <laughs> Starts with N. N. Ends with O. N and O? Starts with N and with O. Name. Well, it's not. Well, Nekomaru no. starts with an N. Oh, Nagito. Yeah. He was, he was near the table? <laughs> yep, he was near the power cord. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to that. Reggie, I noticed you not listening at all. Like, I have to save your ass all the damn time. <laughs> and you wonder why you're so damn slow? Because also Reggie. slow. What? Starts with N and ends in O? Hmm. Looks at Nekomaru. <laughs> well, his name starts with N. <laughs> skips. And then goes back to Nekomaru for some reason. <laughs> then again. Veggie, <laughs> use your brain for once because you never use your brain. Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? Me? Honey, literally. It says clearly. Oh, there. Nagito, oh, now I see it. And there's a freaking. Oh, my goodness. Well, I was gonna look at the diagram, but it didn't let me. Also, Arcane was freaking the opposite direction, so he was on the far left. Oh, wow. Complete opposite of the room. Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near that power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito. That's just a coincidence. But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide their knife under the table. Nagito's chance to hide under the table was... Uh... When he was cleaning, because he was, he was the only one cleaning yep, there, right? Yep, he was. Yep, he was. I do remember that. Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. Uh, that's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously, that's all just a coincidence. If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine, but when is one rises after another? I wonder, is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself the cleaning do that on purpose so you could hide the knife on the table? Now as you mentioned it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Yep. So what if he rigged he it? He probably did. Who just, knows? Just like that episode of Sailor Moon I watched a few nights ago. Eiji, shut up. No one cares what you what made show you watch. Aww. What? Aww. Well, a similar thing you happened suck. in one of the episodes I watched. You suck. Why? Me. No one cares, hon. What? Honey is what being mean, mean, mean to me. It's, a, it's not a show for you. Let's start with that. Come on, I'm enjoying it. No, you're weird. You're very weird. Why? You're weird. Why? Imagine watching that. No, nothing wrong with this series, it's just you're weird. <laughs> well, Veggie's always um, weirdo, weirdo, weirdo. I don't like, I don't like weirdos, call sorry. The, call the, I don't call, talk call, to weirdos. Call, call, call the wifey police. Honey, why, why are you stunning <laughs> now, huh? I don't know. Call the what now? The wifey police. The wifey police. Weirdo, weirdo. <laughs> Shut up, I'm a hitch. You too. No. You're at, right after the pig. Yes. I mean, no. Then stop being weird. Okay, I'll try. Okay, then what are you gonna do if you want to be weird? 
Ah, cuddle use. Oh, he's so cute, definitely. That's very cute. Yeah, and give Honey more oatmeal <laughs> cookies. You gonna be okay? Yeah, me good. Okay. You picked the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? <laughs> His face. I don't know if you're ridiculous or not, but regardless, who says you're suspicious, right? <laughs> Nagito is sus? <laughs> If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got one of us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just a minute already. <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. Nagito, say something! He's choking. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> the Ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Ah, uh, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. Huh? <laughs> I love him. Those eyes. At that moment, Nagito's eyes... The darkness in his eyes shone brightly as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. As if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. Oh shit, it was him. He's the mystery man. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? It's just me, R. Does he seem a little nuts right now? But I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. But with a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. Haha, <laughs> performed admirably. Just stop it already, seriously. What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me, is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous. There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. I'm too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. I'm too disdainful to try actually... try anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Holy crap, he's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets. He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th, just like me. That's quite the hobby you have there, but like, now's not really the time to bring that up. This guy, is he... is he the real Nagito? Hey Nagito, if you were behind all this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yeah, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting's that painful to look at, right? Oh, why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think somewhere deep in my heart, I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if it really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? I was dressing in Miyakuya, Nagito was like able to manipulate his actions. Oh yeah, he suggested it. In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur, am I wrong? 
That reminds me. Nagita was the one who suggested I guard the office. Damn. If Pepe was guarded in the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. That's right in the letter, along with all your suggestions. Oh, it was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Huh? Ooh, what? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know. If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. Nagito's talent? I believe his talent is... Uh, Ultimate <laughs> <old> lucky student. <laughs> Ultimate baby face. <laughs> That's veggie. That's veggie. Veggie. Veggie has a baby face. I don't like it. Veggie, when will you man up? How can you man up? <laughs> I don't know if you... I don't work on your features. Mm, okay. You're the ultimate lucky student, then. Did you... That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just rely on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Oh, shit. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. <sighs> Enough. That, I don't care about anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me. Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? Oh, the despair it brings. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense. It's fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Wait, Malakuma. P -p Please wait. Huh? The fuck? Um, um, how should I put this on? Is Nagito really the killer? Oh, uh, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I already know that, but... Hmm... There's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. Hey, don't be mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> um, for now, Maya suggests we listen to what she has to say. But we know who the killer is. There's your shot listening up. is unacceptable. However, I won't allow it to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for a bloody spectacle. From this point on, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your actions. Oh boy, my favorite gameplay mechanic. No, it's not. Veggie sarcasm. Mm-hmm. Your truth bullets will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles in your spate. Please time your truth bullets just right so they won't get dropped by the warrior. By the way, if the difficulty is such a gentle white noise won't appear at all. Or just Veggie's baby mouse. Or that's fake Veggie. <laughs> In that case, all it means is this explanation. You really mean I'm going to have no meaning whatsoever. Thanks, Reggie. Oh, please don't worry. I'm not going to fall into despair. Even though it's meaningless, allow me to say one more thing. In this debate, you won't be able to shoot down the white noise. That will be explained later. Oh yeah, where you get to actually shoot and get points. If you press the star button, it's going to be the color choice. We bet you will do, of course. Ha ha ha. Yep. Well then, we'll go home. And we get to go on the dance floor again. 
Yeah, a long veggie. Hmm. Me can't autopsy results, maybe. Because right. she's the one talking. Honey, mm. you missed it. Oh. Wait, whose account? Me can't. Uh, that's, well, there's her autopsy. Yeah, that. No, no. Okay. Dum dum, I said that. You said her account, not her autopsy. <laughs> Oh, According to her You're autopsy, so the has sustained several puncture wounds to his chest and abdomen. The wounds were inflicted by a thin, sharp weapon, roughly five millimeters in diameter. Hmm. I think it's strange that the killer is so obviously Nagito. Uh. He has already confessed. Um, you know. That bastard, Nagito, is the one who did it. He killed Byaki with the knife he hid. Oh, never mind. Thanks for wasting your time, Skanky B. Let's prepare to cast our votes. It's it's uh, Fuyuhiko's knife with the autopsy. Why does Mikan think it's strange? Because she must know something that contradicts the crime scene. Reggie already said what you have to do. Okay. Fuyuhiko with Mikan. Alright, let's get ready for that then. Bam, bam, bam. Boom. You're welcome. Thank you, honey, for speeding this up. <laughs> You're welcome, you're too slow for this. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikan? The hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But based on the entry wounds on Eric's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife. Hey, that better be true. If you screw it up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse. Hey, not the whorehouse. Hey, why are you threatening her? Yeah, why, why are they so mean to her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. Actually, think logically. Why was the knife so weirdly, like, covered in blood? Can I have a look at that? <laughs> I mean, that does look kind of weird. <laughs> does it? Like, that's kind of his way. Like, if it actually stopped him, it would have been covered completely. But not only can you see the glowing paint still, it's also like only the freaking like the sharp end. Yeah. Like Veggie, it wasn't that obvious enough. But I like to me it was obvious from the side, but I don't know. <laughs> That's the detective in me awakening. Oh, cute <laughs> little cute detective. Veggie, why you freak out over every little thing? <laughs> I see. Please. I love doing that though. Honey, honey, what? what else are you gonna freak out over me? Come on. Mmm. I mean, I'm sure something else will pop up. I do. You freaked out like ten times today. Was well, that not enough for you? Dum yeah. dum. <laughs> it isn't about me, but Veggie is freaking out so much. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Miss Ticking. What are you doing? Because I'm showing my appreciation for you. Thank you for your appreciation. I love you very much. Oh, you're welcome, Dee. Dee. Wh what are you saying? No one else can be this killer. It has to be you. Hey, don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. I'm sorry. Uh. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Hiding? Like, during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? 
After all this, what else do you intend to hide? See, the moment your back's against the wall, you get so silent. You piss me off. What happened? You're the black guy. <laughs> ah, if you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. Don't get distracted. Our lives are at stake, you know. Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long is it going to take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark, no matter how hard you think about it. The truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor, despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. No? That's not it? What's not it? The truth is beyond our sight? No, that can't be it. There should be some way to find out what happened in the dark. Ibuki. Uh, what did Ibuki say? Um, Ibuki was able to discern all the noise people were making. Yeah, because she has the ultimate hearing, as musician. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? For me? Don't act so surprised. You were the one who told me, remember? How everyone was shouting during the blackout? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be gonna, like, very faintly hear the voices. <laughs> yeah. Also, did you notice that Guido said ow? <laughs> ow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said ow. What about it? Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face style figure and person totally sucks. Speak for yourself, ugly ho. <laughs> Roasted. Uh -huh. You cut me deep with your knife of truth. However, after hearing one back on Donkey Doe said in the dark. Yeah, he said ow. <laughs> yeah. It almost sounds like Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. Huh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya wearing his night vision goggles caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. So Byakuya stopped him when he was trying to get the knife? And he got shoved out from under the table before he even grab it? Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the time. Oh yeah, yeah, it does make a little more sense when I read it a second time. I could interpret it like that. No, actually, now that I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint, and I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on and Byakuya's body was lying under the table. Did he- did, like, the knife Hold fall on, on him or something? Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed, and all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that, even I don't know. You failed? Then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? And we're right back to square one. How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth. Meaningless. One of the weirdest brain was so much to spare. But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Is Nagito really not the killer? 
Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? He's just projecting. He's there's, trying to there's no you know, way I say have that. a blast with this. <laughs> I just thought I knew him. That's what he's doing. But this whole time, I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's simple as that. But now is not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Biakia's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we will die here. Trial suspended? <laughs> what do you mean, trial suspended? Now then! Because Veggie is so damn slow. The class the trial has reached its climax, but... Okay, here's a question for you. What's this? To those of you who figured out who it is, how about you try out the Guess the Killer challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their same data melted away like butter. If you guess right, I'll reward you with $10 billion! Oops. $10 billion? Of course, for those of you who don't know who the killer is, you can just continue on. Now then, what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna just continue. <laughs> just kidding, you can't make a choice. There's no way you'll be able to guess who the killer is. <laughs> and of course, there's no $10 billion either. Four. Uh-huh. Villain? Julia, villain. Also question. Um... Yes. Wait, I was, all, I was able to open the menu earlier. I was gonna, I was gonna ask if I could check on my pet. <laughs> I guess not. Well you, well, you could if I think by now. Well, I mean, if the game is uh, prompting me to save me, we should just call it there then, huh? Oh, resu resume. Mother me, my heart is dropping like crazy right now. My group leader, Piakia, got killed. Are his killers among the groups of students? No, I'm not gonna believe it. I'll never believe it. Cause I believe in everyone. So do your best and forget to save your glory. Oh, don't worry, I do that already. Okay, well, um, I think we'll just probably call it there, right? <laughs> because, uh, you know, the game gave me a save point, so that's probably like the halfway point, I imagine. Yep, halfway. Veggie, are you really that slow that you need two parts for one child? That's embarrassing to be honest. Yep, I guess, uh, well, what time are we at? We're at the, we're at we're at the two minute or two the two minute mark. We're at two the, minutes. Yeah, we've only been recording for two minutes. No, we're we're at, we're at the two hour wish, mark. So I, I think wish. we can um we can probably call it here for today. I I wish it was only two minutes. <laughs> what BB is um not that clingy or something? I'm not clingy at all. I'm fed up with how slow you are. Oh, so slow. You no, know, I literally. I literally had to answer you a few times in a row. Oh, I'm sorry, Pumpkin. Reggie just gave up at that point with thinking <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, my bad. Dum -dum. That's, that's not funny. You act even sleepier than me. That's not funny. Well, now we can now we can sweep together, honey. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't want to sweep with you. Why not? Because you're mean. I'm not mean. Anyways, everybody, thank you for watching DR2 for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. To veggie. Yay, to Veggie. And make sure to check out Cinnabun at Kafo on Instagram. Bun Bun is doing some very lovely things, like drawing DR characters. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Junko. Yes, please check out Bun Bun. She means the world to me. Okay. So oh. we'll we'll. That's, so, that's actually the, that's so cute. Yay! That was so cute. So, I want to up right now. We'll see everybody in the second half of the trial. So take care. I'm sorry, but Veggie's so slow. This <laughs> is my proof point. We yeah. literally have to cut the freaking trial in two parts. That mm -hmm. is not funny anymore. Yeah. Funny. Veggie, Veggie's very sorry. Yeah, you should be because that just well.
Anyways, bye everybody. Bye bye.